Fingerprints have been used as a means of identification for decades, but they're usually something you don't want on your smartphone. With the iPhone 5S, Apple's changed all that, and I'm going to show you why. I'm Kevin Krauss with iSource.com, and this is Touch ID for the iPhone 5S. During the setup of the iPhone 5S, you're going to be asked to do things like put in your iCloud account, um, assign a Wi-Fi network, but one new thing you'll see in this latest release is actually the prompt to set up something called Touch ID, and this is Apple's fingerprint identification platform that will be used to unlock your device, make purchases in the App Store, etc. And so you do so pretty quickly just by clicking Set Up Now here, and you're going to go through a few steps to get your fingerprint identified by your phone. So the key here is we want to scan the finger that we use the most to lock and unlock our device. For a lot of people that's going to be the thumb, for some people it might be your index finger or another. In my case I'm going to use my thumb. Placing your thumb right on the button, you'll see the screen prompts you to lift your finger after you first place it there. So we just perform this process a few times, placing our thumb, lifting it, placing it again, lifting it. And you'll see as we keep going, this fingerprint illustration will fill up to show the level of completion, how, how well our thumbprint or our fingerprint is being identified. You might get a prompt that says to move your finger slightly between scans, and this is to help uh, the iPhone identify your fingerprint even if you don't hit it the same way every time on the home button. Now the prompt will ask you to adjust your grip. This is good because it's going to get the edges of your fingerprint in case you hit the home button at a weird angle. So we're going to hit with the edge of our thumb, I'm going to do the tip here, maybe some on the side, give it plenty of data to work with so I know that I'll always be able to unlock my phone. When you're all done you should see a screen that says success and we'll be ready to use our thumbprint or our fingerprint to unlock the phone. You just hit continue to go through the rest of the iPhone setup. When using Touch ID you will be required to enter a secondary passcode that will be used for unlocking the device in case the thumbprint scanning or the fingerprint scanning fails. And once you've entered a secondary passcode, once you've scanned your fingerprint successfully, that's all there is to it. You can get on with the rest of your iPhone setup. If you skip over Touch ID setup when you first turn on your iPhone, you can always go back and enable it at a later time. Just hit your settings menu, scroll down to general, then you're going to want to scroll down to passcode and fingerprint. Go in there, I'm going to have to enter my passcode. And once you're in there, you can see to scroll down to uh, you're going to have to turn passcode on, set up a passcode, but then you can scroll down to fingerprints, uh, passcode unlock, and you can add fingerprints. You can actually go in and add a secondary fingerprint for your thumb. You can add your index finger, whatever you want, so you can have multiple fingers that will unlock the device. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Touch ID. You just put your finger right on the home button, and your device is unlocked just like that. I think this is going to be a pretty cool feature to iOS 7. I'm Kevin with iSource. Thanks again for watching.